The SARS-CoV-2 surveillance network from wastewater in Catalonia is funded and promoted by the Public Health Agency of Catalonia and the Catalan Water Agency. The coordination of the program is carried out by a team of researchers from the Catalan Institute for Water Research, while the analysis of the samples is carried out by three references laboratories. The Enteric Virus Laboratory and the Laboratory of Water and Food from the University of Barcelona and the Biotechnology Area of Eurecat in Reus. In total, 56 wastewater treatment plants are sampled through the country serving 193 municipalities, representing 80% of the Catalan population. 36 of these wastewater treatment plants are sampled weekly and 18 fortnightly. Every, day at any, every sampling day at 8 a.m., every wastewater treatment plant begins the sampling by means of an automatic sampler that takes integrated samples within 24 hours with a frequency of 20 minutes and proportional to the flow rate in the wastewater treatment plant inflow. On Tuesday mornings, once a composite sample is ready, it is delivered to a courier service which collects them all and distributes them to the three laboratories before 3 p.m. Once at the laboratory, the wastewater samples are processed according to methods validated by the network's reference laboratories. The analysis consists of a first concentration of the sample an RNA extraction and a quantitative PCR of two genetic targets of the virus. The results of the analysis are entered within 40 hour, 48 to 72 hours in a web form that is validated by ICRA before the results report is drafted and published on the website www.sazaiwa.icra.cat every Friday at noon. This web platform open to the public, collects and integrates the data generated by the laboratories as well as the metadata generated by the wastewater treatment plants during the process. The website allows the visualization of this data in different ways. First, an interactive map of the Catalan territory with different layers that indicate, on the one hand, the level of virus circulation and, on the other hand, its trend with respect to the previous weeks. Second, graphs and tables with the concentration of the different targets, N1, N2 and IP4, over time and for each sample point. The interface also has other options such as territorial evolution table, a time cursor to move in time, which allow to enlarge and have a better perspective on the evolution of the pandemic over time. This surveillance serves as complementary information to clinical data to detect changes in the circulation of the virus in wastewater and to know its strength. It is useful in identifying and localizing the incidence of SARS-CoV-2 in the whole community since it is homogeneous and continuous monitoring over time. All the results obtained are interpreted and discussed in a weekly meeting with the Public Health Agency of Catalonia and the Catalan Water Agency which will use them with the rest of the epidemiological data for the management of the pandemic at the Catalan level.